Welcome to Totally Integrated Instrumentation. Today we're going to take a look at um, the ultrasonic level transmitter from Siemens, the LU240, which is a two-wide transmitter. And we're going to have a look at maybe dispelling one of the rumours is that condensation prevents ultrasonic transducers from working. Now that's a bit of a broad statement um, because like cars, uh, uh, ultrasonic transducers are different from different manufacturers. So the Siemens device, hopefully you can hear it here, has a, a, an active face. The voltage that we're putting on to, to the crystal is, a, is a very high, so it keeps that face moving. If I put my fingers on it, you can feel the face moving and you can hopefully hear, you, you know, hear that uh, effect as well. So we're going to have a look at that and we're also going to compare it to the old uh, Citrans Pro Value, which was the predecessor to, to this. And that was a, a 16 volt unit. This is a 12 volts or less. So the lower, the lower powered unit seems to be um, transmitting a, a much louder signal. So we'll have a look at the comparison of those two devices. So here we have a trend from the Citrans LU240 probe. It's been going for over 20 minutes now uh, with a fixed level reading and I've put the units into millimetres so we, we can all understand what's happening. The transducer itself has a small amount of water on the front which we are going to dry off and see how it affects the reading. So I'm just going to speed the trend up. We've dried the transducer off just to prove that that is still trending. We can see the bottom blue line is the temperature changing over time. So uh, this is more or less outside, it's in my garage. So you can see there a small amount of water or condensation on the face of a Siemens ultrasonic transducer doesn't really affect the measurement because of the power of the, the, uh, the crystal. So even though we have new radars out in the market that um, you know, claim not to be affected by condensation, we still have to remember that the Siemens ultrasonic level devices have had this self-activating face and a very powerful excitation on the crystal that um, can cope with condensation. What we're going to have a look at next is um, more of a real life application because we don't tend to sit our ultrasonic transducers on a table looking uh, towards the sky or a ceiling. Um, they're normally pointing downwards into a vessel. So gravity helps us a lot of the time with condensation and the self-cleaning face. So I've put the transducer on a little stand so I can get an accurate uh, measurement over a short distance. And we're gonna um, get the transducer face wet by spraying on uh, condensation or simulating condensation and we're going to actually look at the echo profiles to see what happens to the signal strength and here we have PDM open so to look at the echo profiles it's under the device menu and this is pretty much the standard for all Siemens level devices and we have something here called echo profile utilities and I can see the, the last echo 
uh, there's help tips over each one of these the values we're going to be looking at are distance um, echo confidence and echo strength and to get a echo profile we click on measure so there's the uh, echo profile uploaded to, to PDM and I can see my view here so what we're gonna have a look at is um, uh, getting the transducer wet and then drying it off and seeing what happens to, to these process values so we're going to start off with um, looking at the uh, test setup and then we'll look at the the, the signals produced So you can see here we have the two echo profiles. If we zoom in on the dry echo profile first, um, we have a, a distance of 267 mil and an echo strength of 93 decibels. So if we then have a look at the um, transducer face when it's uh, wet, see we've got a, a slight change on the actual distance um, one mil it's still well within spec the signal strength has dropped to, to 87 but all in all good echo profile and the signal is fine so normally I sign off and have the parting message so thanks for tuning in so I'm going to leave the parting message to the Citrans LU240 thanks for listening and I hope you enjoyed it